So anyone who knows me knows that I'm a full-time reseller, full-time mom. I resell clothing and I have this neighbor who is just incredibly kind. She is always supportive. She's constantly giving me pieces and sharing on her own Facebook and her own social media when she buys stuff from me. So she recently gave me a bag of donations and I wanted to make something special for her. These are three of the tops that she gave me. She got them when she was on military duty in Hawaii, and they just seemed kind of special. So I felt weird selling them. I wanted to be able to give her a way to wear them again, even though they're a little too small at this point. So I decided to make a wrap skirt for her. The first step was just laying them out, and I don't know how to use patterns. I'm still a beginning sewer, so... I started by literally using a box as a straight line <laughs> to measure them. I looked on Pinterest and saw that you want to have kind of a triangular shape so that, you know, when it's wrapped around your body, it fits on the waist and, you know, it's wider around the legs. So I did a basic triangular shape, cut them out, as you can see me doing here. And so far, this was pretty easy. I was really happy with this, actually. The next step was just to lay out the piece I had already cut onto all of the shirts, trace them out, cut them again so that they would all be relatively the same size. And a project like this, fortunately, is very forgiving, especially with a wrap shirt, or wrap skirt. It doesn't have to fit exactly. You don't have to have their exact waist measurements. It's a really easy project to start with. It's a lot of very, very basic sewing, which is exactly what I was looking for. And you can even hand sew this if you don't have like a big fancy machine. So the next step is to lay out all of your pieces, the good sides facing each other, and pin everything in place. I did the entire garment all pinned together so that I could check it against my own waist and make sure all the measurements were about right. That turned out to be a good idea because I found out I needed to cut up another shirt and make them all fit. And then the next step was to just sew all of those pieces together. And again, this is pretty easy to do because it's just very basic straight stitching. You can experiment with different kinds of stitches. Really pretty simple to do. So this is the end result of all of the pieces being sewn together. And I laid everything out and as you can see, kind of forms a C shape. That's what you're looking for. Next, I added the band and pinned that all in place, sewed that together. So this is the finished result. And it's a lot wider than I thought it would be. It turns out that's exactly what you need because once you start folding it over, it eats up that length pretty well. And this is on the mannequin. So this is the finished product. I decided to leave the edges raw on the bottom because I just really like that look. And I really hope she likes it. Clothing has a lot of meaning to people. There's a real emotional connection to the pieces that we've chosen to keep in our lives. So for a lot of people, getting rid of clothing can be really, really difficult. And that's a really good project to use clothing that you have that you can't fit anymore, really easy basic sewing stuff, and you can keep wearing that clothing in a new and much more interesting way. So if you have some old pieces that you might wanna keep wearing, maybe try a wrap skirt, it's pretty easy. I pulled most of my information from Pinterest. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.